Thank you so much, Ilana. So from pure deliciousness in the kitchen, we're turn, turning our attention to our furry friends, our puppies. Now, we have a very interesting discussion this morning we're having with Ansi about dog, uh, dog bites and biting dogs. Why do dog bites and or potentially want to bite and what should you do to try and prevent that if you are confronted with a dog that wants to potentially bite you? Ansi, good morning. Welcome good back morning. to Espresso. Thank you. So this is quite interesting, biting dogs. And this is, it's, it's dangerous. Let's face it. In the okay. news, there's so many cases of of specifically kids that's been bitten uh, with dogs but so so I think first that people should know the warning signs when it comes to dogs what are some of those signs to look out for when a dog is potentially wanting to bite you typically you're going to see the ears being pinned back mm -hmm. you're going to quite likely see the whites of their eyes as they get bigger yeah. um, and the mouth you'll see teeth but not in a necessarily in a smiling teeth yeah. fashion but more in a rounded fashion. And when you see that, you know that a bite is imminent. Okay. In addition to that, in conjunction with all those signs, you you might see the raised hair on their back as well. All right, so those are, yeah. I mean, you look those out for, it's a scary sight to, those to, are to see. Those <laughs> Now, I've mentioned, there's, uh, you, you hear often in the news about kids that's been attacked by dogs. Are they at greater risk, um, and, and why is it so? Purely due to their size, they're much yeah. smaller, so an attack is going to have far greater effect on them and they're going to be hurt badly. Um, and then again, quite often they, they don't really know what to do, um, mm. and this is where it's mom and dad's job to educate children on how they should act around dogs under certain circumstances. But mm. yes, you're quite right, children are far yeah. greater risk purely because of their size, yeah, and they typically don't do the right thing. Exactly. I think the first thing I'll teach my boy is never to stick its, his face into, oh, into God, the no, snout of a dog. Never, never, ever do never, that. Never do so, that. so what are some of the top reasons why dogs want to bite or attack, and, and what do we stand to do to preventing that? There are a few reasons. Um, the two I'm, I'm going to chat about first and foremost are possessiveness. Okay. Um, dogs will protect their toys, their food, their territory, and sometimes even human beings. Mm. So you, you don't really want to get into the, <laughs> in the middle of that. <laughs> um, what you can do is, because it is instinctive with animals, okay, so you do want to put in a little bit of training early on in life. For example, let's start with food, no, let's start with toy okay. aggression. Okay. If one, for example, teaches a dog the leave it command, okay, Bobby, Bobby, morning. <laughs> Water wash on the yacht. Are we playing today? Yes, like, are we yeah, playing today? Okay. Are we playing today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ignore you? Is that why you're not playing? <laughs> okay, so, so... Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to teach the dog the leave it command. Yes. So ideally, Bobby would have the toy in his mouth and I would say, leave it, and he drops it, which he yes. does. He's trained to do that. Exactly. Which is brilliant. Now, with food, for example, you want to teach them... This is to help them be less possessive about these things, and so you have greater right. control and command over them. Food, for example, Bobby, hi, Pops. Hi, you Pops. Are you ready for some food? You're going to teach a dog to possibly wait for its food first. Bobby? Oh, I see. Bobby, wait. So it's all about staying wait. in control. Okay. Hey, he's a good dog, yay. And now he's so allowed to eat. Now he's allowed but this to is eat. But this is, this is best, it's all starting about it from the puppy. Staying, absolutely. Yeah. And then, particularly for kids, crawling kids yeah. as well, what you want to do is you want to go past their food bowl, walk past. Every yes. time you walk past, drop in a yummier piece of food than what they've got, like I'm yes. dropping in biltong now. Okay. So what they do is they get the idea that when a body or a hand comes okay. near their it's, bowl, okay. it's a good thing. Yes. Not a bad thing that's about okay. to take what they have. Great. Um, okay. So you, you want to start training early, early. Shall early I? on as a puppy. Yeah, All right. And the second reason the, that you spoke about? The prey drive. The prey drive, yeah, the because prey they drive. are animals. Indeed, yeah. it's instinct. So you'll find that joggers and cyclists are kind of quite at risk. Mm. Um, and in their instance, if they see a dog come charging after them, the best thing to do is to stop moving. Yeah. Stop moving. Face your dog, um, stand up straight. Don't try to bend down and pat because that'll okay. be seen as an attack. As an attack. Yep. So stand up straight. Don't try not to look at the dog because invariably you're going to have fear coursing through your body, and your yeah. eyes are going to go big, <laughs> and the dog's going to see the white of the eyes. Yes. And it's ah, attack mode. Exactly. All right. So, so avert your hat, your 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 head. Don't, don't make look eye at, contact. Absolutely. Is so it? the dog doesn't see it as a challenge, yeah. but you are standing up straight and proud. And you're not an easy prey. In other words, you'll think you might come up, sniff, lose interest, and go away. All right. uh, kids, they must. For example, they're playing in the garden. If they get taken down by a dog or knocked over, yeah. they must. They should actually curl up in a little ball, protect their okay. face, 
their and hands neck. and their neck and curl up and don't move. There we go. Okay. Don't move, Unsee. And, and, <laughs> and parents should have this drill, this doggy yeah. drill. What do you do? It's good because, I mean, so many times you go visit friends uh, or family that have dogs. Maybe they're not the friendliest of dogs. Um, and it's good to know these things and just to practice them. So, Auntie, thank you so much for coming through and just giving us advice. Um, and it's good to know, the prey drive, you know, especially if you're going on an adventure, you want to be, you know, be aware of this. But on that note, Bobtail is giving uh, purchasers the chance to win, listen to this, massive prizes. I'm talking about a Land Rover Defender 110 and 1 million rands worth of family adventure prizes like boxing, kayaking, horse riding, and so much more. So all you have to do is buy any of the participating Bobtail promotional dry dog food bags and then SMS the last four digits of the barcode on the swing tag to 40511. That's 40511. So, and then uh, head down to Pick and Pay Store near, uh, nearest to you to find out if you are a winner. The Family Adventure Prizes will be announced at the end of every week and the competition is open already and it runs up until the 30th of September. But if you want more info on that, we'll put it on our website, expressoshow.com. Go check it out. We're going to take a quick ad break. Don't go anywhere. Catlejo's got nothing on Bob. Bobtail, SA's most loved dog food for strong South African dogs.